Hope Horses and Kids is an organization um, based out of Salinas, and it assists Monterey County um, youth with equine therapy, which is with horses. Equine means horses. Um, so like I said, it's a Salinas-based organization, and it offers opportunities for all people to work with horses in different ways. Um, they assist people with physical disabilities, emotional disabilities, cognitive, behavioral, and other challenges. They really focus on having students with um, disabilities come, but anybody can really use this service. Um, and they said there's not an age limit, so anybody, I mean, they have to be able to walk, I think, but anybody, I mean, like, be old enough to walk. They could have a disability that doesn't let them walk, and they can still go. Um, and you, they offer private sessions for people and as well as group and classroom sessions. And the classes offered um, ride, horse riding, grooming, brushing, and currying, which is another form of grooming the horses. So for emotional support, um, people care and guide the horses and not only just ride them. And the, horse, uh, the horses act as aids. Um, for the people and students to have something to care for. It builds confidence and it makes students feel successful um, because they're concentrating and they're focusing and they just have something to care for that they're responsible for. Um, and the, on the website, you'll see that the horses, there's like five or six horses that they have rescued and so they really use the same horses over and over and they, ha they know the horses very well and they're really cared for, and the horses are happy to be there, it seems like. And then for physical support, um, there's they can groom and care for the horses as well, but this involves more riding. And um, they invited me to come out to the ranch to see what how it actually works because I was trying to have them explain it to me over the phone, and I couldn't get in in time to turn in this. But the way they explained it is there's like a unique rhythmic movement through the human body from riding a horse through the horse's neuromuscular stimulation from the horse. Um, and it gives people or students, people with disabilities, a feeling of freedom and independence when they're usually limited in a certain way in their everyday life. Um, it's a new experience. It has them use their bodies in a new way. They are feeling their strength and their balance in ways they've never felt before and it just seems like a really cool um, experience for them. I had a student last year who had severe autism as well as some other gastrointestinal disorders and he, he did equine therapy and he would be so relaxed when he was riding the horses and um, it seems like it really works. So like I said before, there's private sessions for $35 to $45 for people who just want to go um, and ride the horse or care for the horse. Um, and then they put, if they have a higher functioning, if they have a group of diverse students, if they have higher functioning kids, sometimes they'll go with the private sessions instead of staying with the group of, let's say they have a group with more people, with children or students with more needs. Um and then for the classroom visits, they are free because this company rely or this organization relies on grants from donors around the area. So all the sessions um, that come from schools or from different um, partner organizations, they're free for the students with disabilities. And the way that people mostly find out about this place is through word of mouth. Um, they, when I was talking to the lady on the phone, she said that they work with some charter schools and Salinas High School um, and other youth organizations around Monterey, but they would love to work with more schools. So you just have to contact her and talk to her about um, your students and what needs they have, and she would love to schedule more schools to come. Um, these are just some of their community partners, like Hope Services, which... Um, works which helps people with um, developmental disabilities integrate into the community and then first he which is a youth program that offers life skills and golf skills at their campus as well as make taking visits to schools actually I was working at Prunedale Elementary last semester 
and they had first tee come there and the kids really loved it and it teaches them a sport that they would never not be exposed to before and then they teach them other life skills. So that is Hope Horses and Kids and again um, it's an organization that teaches positive life skills, respect, responsibility, um, the importance of relationships and boundaries and as well as empathy and choices by working by having the students take responsibility and experience something new with the horses. 